Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, we are going to be showcasing a unit that literally broke Dokkan, specifically the global side of the game, not once, but two times since his initial release over three years ago. Now my newer players might not understand exactly what I'm talking about, so let me quickly explain. Basically, the first time that Int Gogeta broke the game was the day that he came out. It was a dual Dokkan Fest with him and STR Janemba. And I guess back then these servers were maybe not as well optimized, or there just wasn't as much capacity, or maybe some other reason that I can't remember. But what I do remember is that there was so much hype for this unit and so many people trying to get into the game to summon for him that the game literally crashed for a while and people couldn't get in for at least a couple hours. So yeah, that was the first time that Gogeta broke the game. It wasn't too bad though, but the second time was much more recent and a lot worse, right? And everybody should know about this one because it was like a week and a half ago. It was when we got update 4.1, 4.3, which brought over the Extremes the Awakening for Int Gogeta, but it also brought us the support item bug that resulted in global players not being able to use a support item without crashing the game for over a week. So there you have it guys, Hint Super Gogeta, literally a game breaking unit. And today we are gonna be showcasing him at Rainbow Status, uh, Fully Extremes The Awakened, and also with nearly, nearly max leveled links. Now, honestly guys, I tried really hard, okay, for the last like couple of hours, I've been doing a lot of runs, on uh, stage 23.8, and this guy just refuses to increase his links any more than their current state. So this is what we got. It's still pretty close to his max or optimal performance. So yeah, with all that said, let's jump in here and get this run started. So on this first rotation, we got the support Gohan, we got the Bardock, and he's starting off with 116,000 defense. Not bad at all. And uh, I think I'm actually going to leave the Gohan in the front so we can get a few Rainbow Key Spheres here. Um, oh, this is unfortunate. Okay, so I thought that we would be able to get two, but we only can get one, which really sucks because he only gets his additional 40% attack if we get two Rainbow Key Spheres. So his attack stat's going to be a little bit lower than it could be, but probably still pretty decent. I screwed up a little bit there. That's my bad, guys. Okay, here we go. Enough talking. Let's see what Gogeta can do with one Rainbow, Rainbow Key Sphere, which gives him a medium chance to dodge, which is 30%. And then with two Key Spheres, it's... Oh, that's not bad. Okay, not bad. With two Key Spheres, it's 40% um, extra attack. And then with three Rainbow Key Spheres, oh, additional two. Okay, Gogeta heard me talking some trash, and he was like, yo, let me show you what I can do with just one Rainbow Key Sphere. So if we had the extra rainbow, we probably would have had over 4 point, I think 4.2, 4.3 at least, and then the double super. So uh, yeah, as you guys can already see, uh, his easy is very good. <laughs> his easy is very good. And I'm calling him a game break. I mean, of course, he's not like the most broken unit in the game, but you know, like his Claim to fame is not only the fact that he broke the game twice, he's also just very, very powerful. He's very, very good, and the main issue with him before the Extremes the Awakening was his lack of defense. He only got attack, and of course attack's effective against all types, which he still has, but um, he didn't have any defense on his passive, so now he gets the additional, I believe, 120% attack, and he also gets... Wait, does he raise defense on his super attack? I forgot. Let me quickly check, but either way, he has a lot more defense now. He has the medium chance to dodge, so if you're on a harder event like this one, you know, where the enemies hit a little bit harder, uh, you will still be able to bring him without being too concerned. Obviously, at the end of this event, when we're facing the Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, it's still going to be a bit of a problem because MUI Goku disables dodge, and uh, even with, you know, 100 something percent, not percent, 100 something thousand defense um this guy's gonna get kind of wrecked so yeah well we'll worry about that when we get there but uh for now we've got the uh spirit bomb absorb goku linked up which gives him a lot more attack he still has 116,000 defense 
And look at all those beautiful rainbow orbs, man. See, this is why I think that the Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku is the best linking partner for the Gogeta because not only do they share like five links, which is good, but he also changes Rainbow Key Spheres. So we can get his full passive here. Okay, so let's just give these to Gogeta. And then let's get a nice super for Goku. Uh, it's not bad. It's going to be 24, right? 20, 23. Okay, close enough. And then we'll give these to Gohan. So last turn we had uh, 3.8. This turn we'll get 4.4. Okay, so I was actually off. I actually underestimated. I said like what? 4.2, right? Yeah, 4.4 with the crit because he did have a high chance to crit with three Rainbow Key Spheres. So about 4.4 million damage as well. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So we're going to do a few more turns here. Uh, I don't think we're going to complete the event because I just don't really see a point. Ooh, we got the Bardock active skill here. Uh, let me think how we should play this. So since the active skill increases attack for the entire team, I believe, for two turns, um, I actually want to save it for a turn where we can get the Int Gogeta as well as the support from the Gohan and also pop the Bardock active skill the turn before, if that made sense. So uh, yeah, what we're gonna do is actually keep this Bardock in rotation for now and uh, wait a few turns and then we'll, you know, use it and get like the optimal, you know, at least for this team, the optimal attacking turn for our Int Gogeta and we should see you know, a slightly higher attack stat, but um, since the Int Gogeta doesn't stack attack or defense or anything like that, basically the numbers that we're seeing right now are going to be around where he's going to be for most of the event, which uh, is, is pretty good, right? Like 3.8 on the first turn, 4.4 on the second turn. And obviously with the attacks effective against all types, it means that he's going to be doing good damage against um you know any type of enemy so we got the super sam blue gogeta transformation uh let's see if we put gogeta in the middle he should get all his links there we go okay all links activated uh, 102 000 defense right now and let me just confirm uh, yes he does raise defense on his super attack so after he supers he should have around like a hundred and 40, 130,000 defense, somewhere around there. So, uh, ooh. See, I want to give some orbs to... Oh, actually, we can we can still give these orbs to Goku. And there we go. Okay, we can still get two Rainbow Key Spheres there. And then Gogeta's already good to go. The blue Gogeta is already good to go. Yo, by the way, can we, can we just take a second to appreciate this uh, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku? I mean, this guy's like, not that old, but you know, he's been around for a bit, right? He's been around for a minute, and he's still putting up some insane numbers. Like, I honestly still like to use him a little bit more than the uh, Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I don't know if that's going to be like a bit of a controversial opinion, but I just find myself running him more. I think it's mainly the fact that he can also change Key Spheres to Rainbow Key Spheres, and that just makes him such a viable linking partner for a lot of other units who need Rainbow Key Spheres, right? Especially these days, it feels like they're emphasizing the importance of Rainbow Key Spheres a lot more, you know? Anyways, uh, yeah, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku is awesome, but let's get back to this showcase here. Uh, we're still gonna save the Bardock uh, active skill for now and wait for the Gohan to get back to the next rotation, which should be in about three turns, and then we'll be able to get a really nice attack for the Int Gogeta. But uh, at this point, let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you think about Int Gogeta's performance. I'm sure many of you have already extremely awakened him, and obviously the reason that I haven't done the showcase, or didn't do the showcase before now, is because the game was broken for a bit, right? Like, because of the support item issue, they removed a bunch of the uh, longer events in the game. Actually, all of them. They removed like all the long events in the game. And as a result, I wasn't able to do any proper showcases because I need these longer events to be able to show these units for multiple, multiple turns. So yeah, you can blame Bandai for that one. But hey, 
better late than never, as I always say. Uh, no additional there, but a good tank, or a good amount of tanking right there. And also, 41k for a super from Super Saiyan God Goku. I think it's pretty good. I, I, think, I think that's pretty impressive. Like, obviously, we've seen units tank that for a double digits, but... You know, I never claimed Int Gogeta was a defensive monster. I mean, he's still really a much more offensively focused unit with now acceptable defense, or maybe even a little bit better than acceptable defense because he gets over 100k pretty easily and uh, he also has the medium chance to dodge. So we didn't get lucky there, we didn't get the dodge, but if we had gotten the dodge, that would have been like 100% damage reduction, right? So uh, yeah, oh. It looks like we lost the active skill for Bardock. I think you need to be below, yeah, 80% HP to proc it. So, uh, you know what, guys? I give up. Let's just put the Gogetas together. Let's uh, see, you know, some action with the double Gogeta rotation. And uh, we'll just use the Bardock active skill whenever we can. I am not going to try to get that, like, perfect rotation where, like, the active skill effect is, you know in play and then also we got the support from Gohan because it's just too hard okay I tried it didn't work out that's usually how things go uh, with this game oh please dodge this Gogeta come on bro okay so yeah uh, obviously he's dodging everything else <laughs> of course he would dodge all the normal attacks but when it comes to supers he's like nah man I'm gonna eat those I'm going to eat that one for 200,000 damage. Classic dodging units, man. Classic RNG. Yo. Yo, damn. I Did I see that correctly? Did Bardock just tank a normal attack from Super Saiyan Blue Goku, who has type advantage, for double digits? That was impressive. That was, uh, that was highly impressive. All right, so we're gonna give these orbs to Goku, and that's gonna give us, ugh, only one Rainbow Key Sphere. I mean, at the very least, that's enough for a dodge or two. Actually, no, there's only one attack, so at least one dodge, hopefully. And Goku, I think, can hold his own here, because um, we gave him six Key Spheres. He should have a decent amount of defense right now. Okay, and he's doing good damage too. And Gogeta might be able to finish things off here. Okay, so 3.8 here. We did, you know, miss out on 40% attack, um, which is unfortunate. Additional, oh, additional normal. Oh, we got a dodge though. Okay, so the normal wasn't enough, but we did get the dodge. So there you go. I mean, I'm not really sure if the dodge was from the hidden potential system or the passive, but. It's 30% for the passive versus 5% for the hidden potential. So I'm assuming it's from the passive. All right, guys. So now we're on the STR UI Goku. And this is where things get a little bit scary. Uh, I'm going to have to do it like this. Because there's way too many attacks for me to be comfortable with putting Fizz Gogeta in the middle. Um, even AGL Gogeta, man. Like, I don't really trust him too much, but... At least he has type advantage. So we're going to do it like this. And, oh, no super. Eh, what can you do? What can you do? So if we survive this turn, if we don't get completely obliterated by UI Goku, then we'll do one more attack with the Int Gogeta to end off the showcase. If we die here, then it's just meant to be. It is what it is. I'll accept it. And uh, either way, you guys have seen plenty to get a full idea of what Int Gogeta can do at Rainbow Status. With his Extreme Z Awakening, the uh, you know game-breaking unit that he is. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. All right. He actually dodged the super there. I take back what I said. I take back what I said. Yo. Yeah. AGL Blue Godita. Still a beast. Still awesome. Still uh, very much appreciated. And now let's pop this active skill here. Okay, we're going to get a token attack as well with Int Gogeta, so things kind of worked out, I mean, as as well as they could. And that's going to be, yeah, three orbs for him. Let's give some orbs to Goku as well. Uh, there we go, four rainbow for him as well. That's going to be a full 
24k super. And let me get this token attack perfect for go to Oh my god. Okay, we're still alive. <laughs> we're still alive. It's all good. <laughs> nothing, nothing to worry about here. I mean, of course, that was before we got a chance to super, right? So that means that we didn't get a chance to raise our attack with the super yet. Or not attack, our defense with the super yet. So that was not a reflection of, uh, you know, his best defensive self, if you will. Oh. Well, that was some good-ass damage, though. <laughs> Oh, damn. He he made up for it. He made up for it. And of course, as you saw, the uh, tanking got much better after we supered. And this should kill him. There we go. Okay, STR UI is dead. And that is where I'm going to call this video. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to just see if we can get through it with no items without dying. Because, like, we already got this far. And, yeah, like, I don't want to just leave it like this. So... Okay, if I happen to die somewhere along the way, you guys might not even see this part. I might just cut it out. But if we end up clearing it with this team, then... And there we go. Okay. Well, hey. Hey. At least we tried. <laughs> and that's going to do it for today's showcase, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, near maxed out Super Gogeta showcase. Like I said, I mean, he's only missing... A couple of levels so we missed maybe like one two three percent attack and like maybe a couple percent defense on his uh links but you know gogeta is not gonna get much better than uh, what you saw here so there you go guys thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments down below what you think about in super gogeta's performance he reigns supreme once again at least over the str super gogeta until we get another like super busted um you know Stand alone, Super Gogeta in the future. Uh, maybe with a new Janemba as well. LR Gogeta and Janemba. Dual Dokkan Fest. Possibly. Ideas Bandai. But uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Thank you once again. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.